Joseph Yasino Yada, chef in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and this great facility is Kitchen 953. Kitchen 953 is the county's number one professionally shared culinary space, scones, or scones, as so many people like to try and call them, seem to be shrouded in all this mystery. There's really nothing mysterious about them, and I want to show you just how easy it is doing this recipe for English scones with butter and cream cheese. The only difference between a regular scone and one with uh, cream cheese incorporated is you take half the butter and half the cream cheese. So let's begin. We have flour, sugar, and some baking powder. Now we just mix this all up to incorporate everything all together, make sure everything is well mixed. Then to that you add your butter, some cream cheese, an equal amount of cream cheese to the butter, using a pastry cutter. We're going to just break all this stuff up, incorporate the butter and the cream cheese into the flour mixture. Now what we're doing right now is equally distributing it. It's going to help the flour to have little pockets of some moisture. We're going to combine milk and an egg. Give this a quick stir just to mix them both together. You can get sloppy like I did just right now. I'm going to pour this in to your flour mixture. Incorporate it all together. Just stir it up. So let me just finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to plate some up for you. These I'm going to put a little bit of raspberries on top. Move them over to your plate. A little fresh mint. Mint, raspberries, strawberries, fruits go lovely. And I also have some Devonshire double cream. So here we have it. I hope I've taken the mystery out of the English scones with butter and cream cheese. I am Joseph Yasino. Thanks so much for watching.